beautiful white sandy beach and to the average sun seeker this may seem like the ideal spot or this could be your last resting place. get to Koh San Road from Bangkok Airport. Basically, come right down to the first floor. Exit the building. And then, just over the zebra crossing, you will see the S1 bus. The S1 bus will drop you at Koh San Road for 60 baht. So there you have it, the S1 bus at Bangkok Suratami Airport. When you arrive in Thailand, there's generally two ways of changing your lovely currency into the fantastic Thai baht. Um, first of which is the ATM machine you find these in most of the high streets um, they accept most cards you know visa mastercard it would normally tell you on the machines what cards they accept i personally like to use my monzo card if you haven't already got one of these i highly recommend this card and there is a link below simply click it answer a few simple questions details for your card obviously and you can have one within five working days. Um, it's accepted in the ATM machines. Um, it's easy to apply for. No credit check, no bank charges, and it's MasterCard. It's safe. It, you know, you simply transfer funds to it from your other account, however much you want to use during the day or during the week. Um, it has an app that will tell you how much you spent daily and also where you spent it. And if anything does go wrong and it gets taken by either the ATM machine or someone steals it, they're not stealing all your personal bank details. This is one of the reasons I highly recommend this card. You can put on it as much or as little as you want. Simply just click the link at the bottom of this video and uh, answer a few simple questions and you will have one within five working days. The second way of changing up your uh, British currency or wherever you're from is you can do it in the hotels or you've also got your um, cash exchange shops in most of the high streets. I wouldn't recommend changing your cash at the airport because the exchange rate is normally very low. Uh, check at the exchange shops when you do go to them that um, what their exchange rate is because it does vary between different shops. Uh, be warned that if you change them up in the hotel, the hotels these days tend to be a little bit funny about what banknotes they accept. If they're uh, slightly tethered or torn at the bottom with little cuts in them, or if they're a bit worn, uh, they will not accept them. And especially not if they've got writing on them as well. So just be warned when you take notes over there with you, when you take cash with you, that you take brand new notes straight from the bank um, and you won't have any problems. Before you land at Bangkok Airport you'll be given one of these immigration forms to fill in basically asking you to give details of where you're staying, how long you're staying for basically fill it in and when you get to immigration they will tear off a piece and give you a piece back that little piece they give you back, I highly recommend you staple to a page in your passport, either when you get to the hotel or ask the person at uh, immigration if he's got a stapler you can borrow, because when it comes to leaving Thailand and going back through immigration, they will ask you for that piece of paper. And if you haven't got it, it means you've got to hang around and you could even miss your flight. Bearing in mind 
mind this is Thailand, remember one thing. The temperatures can go up to the 40s and over. That means that all these lovely little plastic gadgets, goggling gear and all the rest that you see hanging up outside these shops are actually put out every day and sit there in that heat. That means that they expand and contract every day. So what that tells you is do not buy any of these plastic items that are outside the shop. If you're going to buy some, go inside and buy the ones inside because the ones outside are likely to be stretched, worn and warped from that incredible heat. Um, generally speaking, if you buy one of these little bags to put your phone in when you go swimming, I definitely recommend not doing that because the chances are it will have expanded and contracted so many times it's probably got holes in it and it won't do your phone any favors whatsoever so yeah basically um, yeah be aware that all these products outside of the shop are exposed to high temperatures and they do expand and they do contract um, not only plastic items but also phones or anything basically that's left out in the heat isn't going to do it any good whatsoever so basically just go inside and buy one of the ones that hasn't been outside Between 5 and 10 p.m. in the evening a lot of people go out uh, to their favorite restaurant dining al fresco and uh, unaware that they will be joined by some very uninvited guests. These guests will not be dining on a choice from the restaurant menu. In fact, they've probably already started dining on you. I have tried a lot of different insect repellents, mosquito repellents in the past, and to be honest with you, um, not many of them really work too well. However, I have found this one, and I don't know what it's called because it's written in Thai, but if you go into any of the 7-Elevens or uh, local shops, they normally stock it. It's about 50 baht for a, a small bottle of it, and it's spray on, and I found this really does keep those little pests away. If you decide to ride a motorbike now in Thailand, be aware that you now need an international driving license. You can purchase one of these from your local post office. It costs six pounds. You need some identification, two passport photographs, and maybe your driving license if you have one. I strongly recommend that you get one of these because if you don't and you get stopped by the Thai police, they don't need an excuse to find you, but if they do have one, they certainly will take advantage of it. Most rooms, hotel rooms these days have what's known as a key fob. It's a card with your keys on it. When you pull it out, the electricity automatically cuts off within five minutes. They do this so as they can save money on people not leaving the air conditioning on and the electrics on. As you can see, the power has gone off. When I put that back in again, the power comes back on again. Now, if you want to leave your phone to charge whilst you're out the room, or if you need to use the electric when you're out the room, this means you can't. However, if your room has a fridge, fridges are not allowed to be turned off because if they get turned off, everything inside them goes bad. Which means that if you find the lead from the fridge to the plug socket that it's plugged into, that terminal does not have a cutoff. So when you pull your key fob out of the holder, that will remain on. 
So if you need to plug your charger in or anything up whilst you're out of the room, remove that plug and put your plug in there and it will stay on when everything else cuts off. They don't have Uber in Thailand, but they have got a company called Grab, which is the next best thing. All you need to do is download the app and you are on your way. So if you wish to partake in sexual activity whilst traveling, just remember, you're playing Russian roulette if you have unprotected sex. Take care of yourself and anyone in the future you may have sex with. Keep it safe. Keep it covered. Beautiful white sandy beach. And to the average sun seeker, this may seem like the ideal spot. However, statistics show that every year over 200 people die from falling coconuts. Just over four kilos each and probably around 30 foot high. These coconuts are hard shelled and will not do you any favours whatsoever if they land on your head. So always be wary where you plonk yourself down, whether it be on a nice white sandy beach, outside a restaurant, anywhere, always look above you, or this could be your last resting place. <laughs> 